Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide on setting up a solar power system. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to connect solar panels to various components like MCBs, a solar charge regulator, a rotary switch, batteries, a battery charger, and an energy meter. By following these steps, you'll learn how to efficiently and safely harness solar energy. Ready to go green and power your home with solar energy? Let's dive in. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to support our channel and stay updated with more great content. Step 1. Connect solar panels to first MCB. Install the solar panels in a location with maximum sunlight exposure. Securely mount them to ensure stability. Connect solar panels in series slash parallel. Depending on your system voltage, connect the solar panels in series for higher voltage or parallel for higher current using MC4 connectors. Use appropriate gauge cables to connect the output of the solar panels to the input terminals of the first MCB. MCB function. An MCB, miniature circuit breaker, is a protective device that automatically switches off electrical circuits during abnormal conditions such as overload or short circuit. Solar panels convert sunlight into direct current, DC, electricity. Step 2. Connect first MCB to solar charge regulator. Run cables from the output of the first MCB to the input terminals of the solar charge regulator. Ensure correct polarity, positive to positive, negative to negative. The solar charge regulator, or controller, regulates the voltage and current coming from the solar panels to protect the batteries from overcharging and deep discharging. Step 3. Connect solar charge regulator to second MCB. Use cables to connect the output terminals of the solar charge regulator to the input terminals of the second MCB. This provides an additional layer of protection. Step 4. Connect second MCB to rotary switch. Run cables from the output of the second MCB to the input terminals of the rotary switch. The rotary switch will enable you to direct power flows needed. A rotary switch allows you to manually select between different power sources or circuits. Step 5. Connect rotary switch to battery. Connect rotary switch to battery. Use cables to connect the output terminals of the rotary switch to the battery terminals. Ensure correct polarity. This allows the regulated power from the solar charge controller to charge the batteries. Batteries store the electrical energy generated by the solar panels for use when there is no sunlight. Step 6. Connect rotary switch to third MCB. Run cables from the rotary switch to the input terminals of the third MCB. Step 7. Dot connect third MCB to battery charger. The battery charger maintains the battery charge level, especially if additional charging from an AC source is needed. Connect MCB to charger. Use cables to connect the output terminals of the third MCB to the input terminals of the battery charger. This allows an external AC source to charge the batteries if solar power is insufficient. Step 8. Connect battery charger to fourth MCB. Run cables from the output terminals of the battery charger to the input terminals of the fourth MCB. This provides protection for the charging circuit. 9. Connect fourth MCB to energy meter. Energy meter measures the amount of electrical energy consumed or produced. Use cables to connect the output terminals of the fourth MCB to the input terminals of the energy meter. This meter will measure the energy flowing to your load or inverter. Finally, connect the energy meter output to your load, e.g., household appliances, or to an inverter if required. Safety tips. Always turn off all MCBs before making or altering any connections to prevent electrical shock or damage. Double step check all connections for correct polarity positive to positive, negative to negative, to avoid damaging components. Ensure all cables are of appropriate gauge to handle the current without overheating. Use components that are properly rated for your system's voltage and current to avoid overloading. Consult with a professional electrician if you are unsure about any step to ensure safety and correctness. If you found this tutorial helpful, 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Your support helps us create more great content. By following these expanded steps, you should be able to set up your solar power system safely and effectively, understanding the function and purpose of each component in the system.